Hi, so on this wee craft workshop we're going to be doing something called decoupage. Sounds very grand. Um, and what decoupage is, is upcycling, if you like. And a lot of people take this to extremes and upcycle furniture and old chest of drawers and things like that. And it looks absolutely awesome. Uh, what I've got here are just these uh, little glass jars. And I've got glass jars, uh, I've got the wee tiny cardboard boxes in the resource pack, so help yourselves to whatever. And what we're going to be doing is really just embellishing them, upcycling them. And uh, I've put a few little bonbons in this one, as I hope you can see. People use these for lots of things, little trinket boxes, um, maybe favours um, at weddings, things like that. So there's no end to the, uh, the amount of enjoyment you can have out of this. So I'm going to take it right from the basics and start with a, a glass jar that we have done uh, nothing to at all. The first thing you want to do is uh, paint this, if you like, with an emulsion paint. Now everybody's got emulsion paint lying about the house. You don't need an awful lot. It doesn't matter really about the colour, it's, it's whatever's there. You'll find little sponges uh, cut in the resource packs and they're much preferable to brushes when you're applying the emulsion. You'll see that I've just got um, a bit of emulsion there. It's only the size of a, a 2p coin, very, very little does. And literally just dab the end of your sponge into that and then uh, try not to drag the sponge on it, just little dabbles onto the, the glass jar and we do it right round. Once uh, one application is usually enough but if you feel it's not right by all means come and, and do it again. <clears throat> so we'll take that right round, um, cover all the bits you want, anywhere you feel you're going to be decorating you'll want to put the emulsion or acrylic uh, paint onto it. So that's that. So we would take that all the way around. Okay, set that to dry. Uh, it'll only take about an hour. But set that to one side to dry. Off. Here's one in true Blue Peter fashion that I made uh, earlier. It's well dried. Two coats of emulsion onto that little jar and we're now ready for the upcycling. You'll find in the resource packs um, pieces of um, this is actually two ply uh, napkins. We've got ones with the, the birds and roses, we've ones with butterflies. So cut out some of those and have them ready. And again, I've got some here. This is another little jar which is in the resource pack. Uh, different shape, different style, so that's there if anybody wants it. Uh, so we've got the butterflies, we've got the birds ready to go. The other thing you'll need is your white PVA glue. Your old PVA which we use absolutely everywhere. If I swirl that a bit, you'll see it has a consistency, I would say, of double cream, something like that. Um, if it's too thick, just add a little bit of water, dilute it down a bit, but that's roughly the consistency you're looking for. Uh, you'll have your brush as well in the resource pack, and really you'll not, depending on the size of the artifact that you're, you're upcycling, but you'll not need too much of that. So, if we take our little jar and uh, just dab some of the glue onto the uh, the white now white jar. Okay, in this instance, we'll just take one of these little butterflies and we'll set it onto it, and then go over the entire butterfly in this instance. Cover the entire thing with the glue. Now that's that. So it, let's just come around this side. Uh, we'll do another. So. A little bit of glue there, um, another little butterfly onto that, <clears throat> and um, cover that completely with the PVA glue. And when you've done all that you want to, or as much as you feel you want to at one time, set it again to one side, let it dry thoroughly, again about an hour, and then come back and take some more of the glue and go over that again. And you probably want to repeat that about three times. So that's covering the the picture, the butterfly, whatever it is, um, letting it dry, do that three times and uh, you'll eventually come back then and you'll have your completed little jar. You might see uh, after the third application that it's gone a little bit wrinkly. 
Don't worry about that. That's all part of it. That's part of the texture, part of decoupage is to have that, believe it or not. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you're not happy with it, take some more uh, glue on your brush and smooth it down. Don't dab it this time. Smooth it down and that will drag any wrinkles out with it. And again, just set that over to dry about an hour before it's ready to touch. So everything should be in the pack. Um, just on the napkins here, uh, whenever you open them up, you will find, uh, maybe you can, can zoom in on this slightly, along the edge of the napkin, there's a little piece where it's actually stippled. There's little lumps and bumps on it. Don't use that part of the napkin. You'll never get those little lumps out of it. So it's about two inches, about 15 millimeters in from the edge right round. So start in the inside and cut those out very, very simply. Have a few of them standing by, so you're not cutting and sticking and cutting and sticking. Have a few standing by and enjoy your deer deck of pies, folks. Thank you.